And now it's time for a message from our sponsor, the American Investment Council. Please welcome Pam Henriksen, American Investment Council board member and CEO and vice chairman of strategic initiatives at the Riverside Company. Hi, I'm Pam Hendrickson, COO and Vice Chairman of the Riverside Company. Riverside is a private equity firm which has spent the last 30 years investing in companies, small companies, all over the world. Today, I am delighted to be joined by two executives from those companies. Chrissy Wosman joins us from N2Y, where she's the CEO, and Healy Lev joins us from Gobi, where she's the Chief Revenue Officer. N2Y is a company that provides K-12 through curriculum to public school teachers who have children on the special needs spectrum in their classrooms. And Gobi is a software company that provides tremendous automation to companies to help them with their environmental, social, and governance activities, as well as reporting. So something that strikes me about both of you is that you took your prior backgrounds, Chrissy, you as a public school teacher, and Healy, you in the real estate business, and you were able to leverage those backgrounds to create companies that have a real impact on society. Do you feel that your private equity partnership had an impact in some way? Well, private equity, Pam, really helped us transform the business. Prior to that, um, we were a small family-run business um, a lot of educators. So we had great products and we knew our market, but we were very reluctant to invest in sales and marketing. Um, so once we partnered with Riverside in 2016, you know, our first goal was let's invest in our infrastructure to make sure we're scalable. And then let's build the right teams and processes so that we could sell at a real enterprise level. Instead of selling teacher to teacher, we wanted to sell to a school district and implement not in one classroom, but across the whole district. So today, um, N2Y sits as a really a, a brand leader in special education, and we now serve school districts in all 50 states. For us, it's only been about six months, but what I will say, there's a lot of great entrepreneurs in the world and entrepreneurs have good ideas. And what helps transform a 3.30 a.m. good idea into a real functioning business is capital. Clear and simple, you need money to bring your idea to fruition. So without the backing and the financial help, um, needless to say, the intangible benefits of the advice, the strategy, the peer group, um, any idea for any business can't get off the ground. So let's talk about growth, both in terms of increasing the value of your company as well as jobs. Healy, what has private equity meant for both of those things? We're focused on growth. We're focused on growth for a few reasons. Uh, we want to have a successful business, but we also want to create jobs. We want to hire more people. We are also a mission-based company. So we work, as you mentioned, in the environmental social governance space. Um, we help companies reduce their energy, reduce their water, uh, promote energy and sustainability and green programs in the way that they operate, not just their physical real assets, but also how they operate as a company, how they treat their employees, how they manage risk. Um, so we'd like to think the more our business expands, the more impact we have on the world really as a mission-based company by providing our services and improving the way that companies function. N2I has always been focused on, on growth and getting into new schools. And of course, um, as Healy mentioned, you can't have growth without hiring new people. So um, it's been exciting for us. In 2016, we sat at 65 people. And today we're at 140 and growing. Um, we've added brand new departments, marketing, inside sales, customer success. And I think as well as creating new jobs, it's been exciting for me to see how some of our long-term employees have new opportunities in departments that didn't even exist prior to our time as a private equity-based business. So tell me a little bit, Chrissy, we'll stick with you a little bit about the community impact that your company has had and, and your partnership. Absolutely. Um, N2Y's mission has always been about helping more students. So we focus in on, as you mentioned, the special education community. So how do we help more learners achieve and enrich and empower them to live the rest of their lives um, to their fullest potential? Um, we've done that by providing 
uh, sales to new school districts. Um, but another exciting thing that we've done with private equity with our private equity partner is really optimize our product development process. So since 2016, we've delivered five new solutions to the K-12 special education market. So this is allowing us to reach new classrooms, new teachers, new therapists, new homes, um, students that we've never addressed before. So it's very exciting. So obviously we're in the middle of a global pandemic in the world. So what's been your experience working with private equity through this very difficult time? Healy, start with you. Certainly like nothing I've ever seen before, but one thing that's really comforting, um, at least in our experience with Riverside, is it feels like a family. And, and one thing when your company is struggling or nervous about these new challenges or how it's going to impact the business or how it's going to impact the employees that work for you that depend on this job to feed their families, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of stress. And it does help to have that community, to have those peers to kind of commiserate with or to just feel like you're not alone. Um, so one thing is just the comfort in knowing that we're all going through this together. And then the second thing I'd point out is that having an advisor like Riverside, having access to the brains within private equity that can coach us how to better get through this or what to do or what our peers are doing or um, even just assuring us that we're going to come out the other end of this okay is really, really meaningful. I agree with Healy. Um, being a part of a private equity group um, gives you access to so many different leaders of different businesses to share ideas and resources and really support each other during these times. Um, I think our current private equity partner has been really supportive when we shifted gears in March when schools shut down across the country. We knew we needed to stop focusing on sales and focus on support on how we can make sure that special education students could continue their learning outside of schools. So we offered our solutions for free to our clients, to um, people who have never heard of us before. So it was really great to see um, private equity back our mission that way. Chrissy, just sticking with you for a minute. Both of your firms decided to partner with private equity, but did your perception after that partnership, which has been a long time now for you, Chrissy, uh, change? Did you, did you change your perception of private equity? Well, I can say honestly that I was scared of, of what it meant to be a PE-backed firm, um, not having any real experience with that. Um, we were a family-run business, as I mentioned before prior, but it was great to see my operating partner and our deal team really step in and right away calm my nerves um, by spending time with me, really taking time to understand the business, my team. We even went into classrooms to watch our solutions in use. So they really were behind our mission and passionate about it. And I think it's, um, I'm most proud of the fact that our partnership together, we were able to kind of maintain our mission that everyone can learn and everyone has the right to the best education um, and really hit high growth marks um, without having to step away from our mission. I think the concept of venture capital and private equity was always uh, this elusive entity that was secretive and um, what we really found during the last six months of our partnership with Riverside is what's on the other side of those doors, private equity, um, are just human beings. They're like-minded human beings. They want to work hard. They want to get returns for their investors. They want to see companies grow so that we can help our communities and promote job growth. Um, and it's, it's nice to have had that completely disarmed. Um, when you sit down with these people and you realize they have great advice to offer, they want to help your small business be successful. They want to give you the tools, the network, the peers, the advice, and of course, the capital um, to make your business realize the, the vision that you had set out when it was just that 3.30 a.m. idea. Thank you very much to both Chrissy Wosman from N2Y and to Healy Lev from Gobi. N2Y and Gobi are just two private equity stories out of many. In fact, last year, according to the American Investment Council, private equity invested over $700 billion in diverse communities and industries across the country, helping to support nearly 5,000 businesses. If you want to learn more about private equity in your community, visit investmentcouncil.org.